Hi, I'm Eleanor Burns. Are you interested in a quilt challenge that allows you to directly help a military family? Well, at AQS Quilt Week in Des Moines this October, the Quilted In Honor Initiative, led by Island Batik, announced a giving quilt challenge to, to help Operation Homefront with their Christmas giving campaign. Now, what is a giving quilt, you might ask? Well, a giving quilt is a quilt that has pockets sewn into the blocks or the sashing or the borders that can accommodate gift cards. Now, you know the kind we all buy from Target, from Walmart, other retail stores. Now, this is the giving card I love, Starbucks. So see how the card just slips into the pocket like this. Here's another one from Hobby Lobby and Amazon. Great. Well, every year, Operation Homefront needs 2,500 giving quilts. Well, the quilts are displayed in public buildings like banks and credit unions, and generous people stuff the pockets of the quilts with the gift cards or even cash. Now, what is Operation Homefront Christmas Giving Campaign? Well, let me tell you. When the quilt pockets are full, the quilt is given to a needy military family for Christmas. Well, a giving quilt can be made from traditional quilt blocks and quilt patterns. Well, let me show you what I mean. This is the pattern called propeller. And it's very traditional looking. It's easy, it's simple, anybody can do the propeller. So first of all, you take two rectangles and they are six by 12. I have the yellow and the red, beautiful batik fabrics. They read solid from a distance. All you do is divide it into a six inch square here, draw a diagonal line up and down, and then you just sew a quarter of an inch from both sides. This is sounding pretty easy, huh? So then just take the ruler, line up the ruler on the straight line, cut it, and then cut on the diagonal lines. And with this little technique, you end up with four pieced triangles. Now the important thing is, is that you square this up to the proper size. This is our six and a half inch triangle square up ruler, and I wanna square it up to five and a fourth. And I've just lined up my lines along the stitching lines, five and one fourth on the edges, and then just trim up and down the other side. Now this book is, this is actually in my book, Victory Quilts. So just cut off the corners there and then open and press the seam towards the dark. Now you need to have four of these to go into the block. I've got my four all ready. So let's just set this aside. I'll take these, finish these later, but we'll get rid of them right now. And so I'm just gonna turn them just like the propeller block. I'm looking at this sample right here. One, two, three, one more, and four. Okay, that's the basis. The very center is two and seven eighths inches. So that goes right in there. Well, we've gotta get to that pocket. And the pockets are easy to do because they're this block in the patch. Just take two and seven eighths by 13 inches of background and the beautiful stars. I want you to look at the stars, Island Batiks, that is gorgeous. So just sew this together, press the seam towards the stars. And then so we can create a pocket, all we need to do is just take a four and a half inch piece of fabric and fold it in half, wrong sides together. We're gonna to make this really easy and layer it right on top. And then to keep all the pieces in place, just go ahead and stitch right across the bottom and then layer cut it into two and seven eighths inch pieces. Let me see if I can just go ahead and show you one. And there it is. Now I need four of these for the pocket pieces. And here they are. They're just gonna go right around the center 
Beautiful. I think that this particular line from Island Batiks is most unique, very patriotic looking. I love it. So whenever all of the rows are sewn together, then you see you've got this little pocket right in the center. Let me grab my favorite Starbucks card. So you could go to any of these giving quilts and just tuck a gift card or cash right into the pocket. Very easy to do and you could do it too. So all of the information on the giving quilt challenge, the rules, the deadlines, and the prizes are available on this website, Quilted in Honor. That's easy to remember. Well, I wanna thank you all for watching today and I hope you'll join in the challenge and help a military family have a wonderful Christmas.